Now with the inevitable hype of the upcoming One Piece chapter 1043, I thought it was a good time to make a prediction video as I did with last week's chapter. Now again, spoilers as of making of this video isn't out yet. Usually spoilers comes out on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so be aware. This is probably one chapter that a lot of people would not want to get spoiled on just because there's a massive reveal in this chapter, most likely based on the setup that we've had so far. We know for certain that this is most likely going to be a crazy chapter unless Oda trolls and deviates to something else that we don't really care about but again I don't think Oda would do that at this point in time just because the setup in the previous chapter with Luffy's face transforming or morphing it's best that he goes into what he showed at the end of the last chapter so we will be getting a reveal as to what is happening to Luffy as that has been a point of discussion for the last two weeks a point of discussion so crazy that so many ideas have been born from this special paramecia mythical Zoe and Hanuman the tree resin Son Wukong you know there's been so many ideas that's been created from this and again a lot of evidence supporting them but again when it comes down to predicting Oda and what he wants to do it usually turns out to be something else completely again you guys already know my thoughts on what I think Luffy's transformation will be but we'll see what happens and what direction Oda takes this not before we keep going I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video it definitely helps me push out more content I appreciate the support you guys have given me in the last couple of weeks now and also subscribe if you're new here now there's five key things that i think will happen in this chapter or at least these things will take a good chunk of the chapter that we're going to see now the first and the most important one is obviously the reveal of what is actually happening to luffy this i have no doubt will be revealed in the next chapter whether it is awakening whether it is a joy boys transformation whether it is the special paramecia devil fruit this will be no doubt revealed in the next chapter and of course this will be telling as to the theories that is out there in terms of if they are right or wrong which again doesn't matter because again this is all that we're talking about here in terms of prediction it's usually insane to call out what this man is actually planning even with the foreshadowing or the references that he puts into the cover pages and all of that usually it's very hard to predict oda so if you're wrong it doesn't matter as far as you had fun creating your theories right i think that's where a lot of the excitement comes from so again i think what would be happening to luffy in this chapter will be revealed but again we have to remember Remember that this is just one chapter so i'm not sure if we're going to get the whole thing in its entirety they might give us the name of the fruit or its true name but we're not going to get the whole story behind it why this fruit is special why it has this power and also its connection to joy boy and so and so so that might come on later on there's only so much you can fit into one chapter in one piece and again given the fact that we just came off a break means that next chapter will most likely be break free so we're going to have a chapter next week so it's back to the usual schedule now, the second thing that might happen in this chapter as well is Hiyori and the Orochi plotline, as that is the last plotline other than Luffy versus Kaido. So we might get a chapter where we might focus on that situation, especially considering that Denjiro has been missing for an entire year now. And so a lot of people and myself think that this situation is going to revolve around these three characters and ultimately potentially ending in Orochi's demise, maybe. And the reason I say maybe is because I'm not even sure if Orochi is going to get killed because again when you go back to his flashback he was somewhat of a victim as well and Oda doesn't kill off people like that even if they are villains so I see Orochi actually surviving this whole ordeal but it's more so of him being spared rather than him surviving but again we'll see how that plays out again Orochi is not the big villain of this arc as we thought he was in the initial stages of Wano or even before Wano so what happens to him is not a priority as of right now now the third thing that we're probably going to see is what's happening on the stage floor with everyone there we're going to see the situation and how dire it is especially considering how tense it was in the last chapter luffy was killed and kaido is coming to kill everyone else that even a small amount of time that luffy's down could mean people getting killed in other words luffy has to make a quick return which i think will happen in this chapter but we're not going to dive into luffy's powers that much yet just maybe him coming back to save momonosuke or any straw hats from being killed this is a very typical older way of doing things when it comes to this types of chapters so we might see a glimpse of luffy's new powers but not too much because again it's just one chapter but it's definitely going to leave us at a point where we're going to want more now the fourth thing i could see happening is us deviating to zoro and sanji specifically more on zoro's side of things because there's something happening to zoro that hasn't been talked about or mentioned yet 
in which in the previous chapter we saw that Zoro was on the verge of death to the point that he literally saw death itself at least that's what some people think anyways and we don't know what came after all of that did Zoro succeed in defeating death well we know Zoro is not gonna die but the last time we saw him he was in a very bad state and this is when Frankie saved him from falling off of Onigashima so again there's also something very special that's happening to Zoro that we're not aware of yet so maybe that gets talked about in this chapter or maybe even gets reference because we know that Zoro and Luffy were both at the very stage of death right so maybe this could be a power up for Zoro as well we don't know but again I don't expect these things to take a huge chunk of the chapter probably just one or two pages or even a few panels that they get mentioned because again this chapter will most likely focus on Luffy's awakening or his new power or the introductory to his new power I think that makes the most sense and finally the fifth thing I could see happening is us completely deviating away from the chapter or even Wano where maybe we go to the Gorosei in which they talk more in depth about his fruit the lore behind it and the reason why it's dangerous and perhaps even revealing if Shanks was the individual who told them about the fruit because that is a point of discussion as well in the community because it seems like it's very likely that Shanks did know something about this fruit hence why he stole it and it's also very questionable that the Gorosei had no idea that this fruit was what it was until very recently so it's almost like they got information very recently or at least information or confirmation that it was Luffy's fruit and the only person that we know met up with the Gorosei was Shanks. But again, this was something that happened 800 years ago. So it is something of the old time. So maybe it was something that was so long ago that it was forgotten. But then again, they do remember the ancient weapons and the way that they mentioned it was in a way where it was rumor and it was not in actuality that this was that this actually happened, right? So they were essentially going off of a rumor, which indicates why they had the Gomu, they tried to get the Gomu Gomu no Mi in the first place with the government ship, right? To perhaps confirm their assertions. But there's definitely something going on as to how they recently got the information about Luffy's fruit being special and not knowing about it throughout the entire course of the story seems a bit weird maybe shanks played a role there but yeah that's pretty much it for my predictions for the next chapter which i think will probably break the internet if oda doesn't troll but i think this is the most that i've been excited ever since gear Force reveal back in 2015. the fact that this is a even bigger transformation just makes it even more hype and of course i'm here for the reaction from the community because these moments makes you very proud of being a part of the one piece community honestly like imagine not really reading one piece at this point in time and sharing this reaction with everyone else you're definitely missing out but again excited to see what comes next and you should be too but that is pretty much it for this video guys i'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video comment down below what you guys think please do not put any spoilers in this video or spoil people because this is not a spoiler video this is a prediction video and by the time this video is released spoilers may be out so again people that are watching this video please be careful if you do go to comment section because someone might spoil there but as usual please like subscribe and share hit the bell if you want to get notified for future content you can follow me on twitter at ferrospace but it is fair guys and i will see you folks later peace